right, we are recording. Hey everybody, Joe here. Welcome to our second episode of Create Together Season 2. As you might have guessed from the name, this show is all about making stuff together. Everything you're about to watch was made collaboratively by members of our audience working together over on Hit Record, where anybody and everybody is invited to come and participate in creative projects and help us tell stories and make art and music for the show. In fact, we are still making the show right now, and there is still time to be part of it. So after you finish watching this episode, come to Hit Record, get involved, it's really fun, I promise. Now, this season our theme is nature, so we're drawing our creative inspiration from the natural world in all its forms, from the bright and beautiful to the weird and wonderful. First up is a music video about reintroducing ourselves to nature. The catalyst was a vocal track contributed by I Am Shonda, who challenged the world to go out and rediscover the simple things that they might have missed during lockdown. Hello, I am Shonda Royal. I have not been making music for that long at all, but I have always written songs. And so I started to learn the processes behind creating beats and putting lyrics to those, and I liked it. When I first heard the beat, I immediately thought of Britney Spears. I remember going through the videos and seeing someone splash water on themselves. Someone was dancing in the trees. Another person was playing in dirt. I was just inspired to create this sort of call and command to get more people outside, interacting with nature in ways they maybe wouldn't normally. People took up the challenge, but as you'll see, being stuck inside is enough to make anyone go a little stir-crazy. It's only to be expected that when we finally emerge from our enforced hibernation, we might get a bit excited. Watch this. Murray B, and this is my son. Nuts! Did you enjoy drumming, Nuts? Yes! I contributed some videos. It was a very liberating experience. It felt great dancing in the nature with the elements. I'm from Malaysia and contributing to this project has allowed me to see a lot of beautiful places which I have never been paying attention to before this. <laughs> I'm gonna do some music real quick with some wood that I gathered. This next short film was inspired by a poem. It was written by Lou Neal, a structural engineer who found that being unable to travel the world forced her to see her immediate surroundings in a new light. As it turned out, her story resonated with lots of people from around the world who felt inspired to jump in and lend their voice. Hey there, my name's Louise, username Lou Neal. I'm here in the uh, sunny suburbs of Dublin, Ireland. 
I have camped out in the wilderness in Australia. I have summited Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. I've hiked the Salkante route and visited one of the wonders of the world, Machu Picchu. Since the pandemic, one of the things I miss most is being able to travel. But at um, this moment in time, we just have to deal with the, the situation that we're in. And you kind of have to look and see the beauty of the world around you. You know, the fields of poppies in the summer, the robins we have in winter, the starlings and the swallows. You know, those are the small things that we often never take the time to see, never take the time to notice. Our relationship with nature has, has changed since the pandemic. And it, it was something that resonated with me. And obviously that's what, what inspired the poem. I've always been a person. I've always been a person who likes to spend time with, time with nature. Who likes to spend time with nature. And I was so blown away when I noticed that someone took my poem and made it into a project to make a short film. And then I couldn't believe it when people started translating it in different languages. So people contributed footage of flora and fauna from their own backyards, and as they added their voices, a beautiful multilingual short film took shape, all about a shared experience and a newfound appreciation of our surroundings. Watch this. I have always been a person who likes to spend time with nature. Facendo lunghe passeggiate solitarie attraverso le colline più alte. Senderismo in lugares exóticos. All just to feel mesmerized beneath a brilliant, boundless sky. To exist in the natural world around me and to marvel at the worlds that exist within it. But since the pandemic has clipped my wings, I find myself marveling at the nature in my own backyard. And often overlooked for the more spectacular. The bouncing bunny. The alligator who peeks out of my green lake. The ebon fox that greets my early morning departure from home. The influx of starlings in winter. Los juguetones loros de color verde y rojo. Gadzi ladre. And swallows in summer. Pequeñas flores azules. Mimose. Die zarten weißen Blüten des Weißdorns, die im Mai blühen, erinnern an den späten Frühlingsschnee. Mainly what I notice is the ebb and flow of nature. The patterns that repeat again and again. Et comment tout cela continue. Malgré le fait que nos vies sont soudainement arrêtées. I find something comforting in this. Hope for the future, perhaps? Sometimes, even the smallest elements of nature can hold the story of an entire universe. Hi everyone, my name is Jada. For the project, I contributed a voiceover, which I read in Italian. Sono sempre stata una persona a cui piace trascorrere del tempo con la natura. I love nature and I really miss traveling like a lot. So I often look back at the places that I've visited. But during this pandemic, the tiny piece of nature I saw through my bedroom window was the only thing preventing me to go crazy. Near my house, I could easily see api, coccinelle, petti rossi, margherite, girasoli. Hi, my name is Priscilla. I translated Luniel's poem to Spanish and contributed a voiceover to the short film. Siempre he sido alguien que gusta de pasar tiempo con la naturaleza. I've seen lots of birds visiting my garden, such as picaflores, borriones, and loros which surprised me a lot since I've never seen a flock of them around the city before. Hey, I'm Jonathan Keyes. I'm from Seattle, Washington, and I contributed voiceover to the Nature in Our Own Backyard project. Mainly what I notice is the ebb and flow of nature. I feel like I used to take nature for granted. I would always be like, oh, it's out there all the time. I could go outside anytime I want. Now, getting the chance to be out in the fresh air and not in front of a computer or on a Zoom call or inside my house all the time is very much appreciated and needed for me. I just hope that the lessons that we've learned in these times, we can take with us into the future. And I hope for myself when my train starts moving again, that I can force myself on a daily basis to look out of the window to enjoy the, the beauty of nature and um, to not lose what I've learned 
So, uh, slow on August, Ban of D. And that's about it for this week's episode. Thank you to everyone who jumped in on Lou Neal's poem and helped make that short film. It shows that even during lockdown, when we might be feeling like our wings have been clipped, it's possible to find inspiration in our immediate surroundings if we just remember to look for it. Thanks again to YouTube Originals. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can catch the next episode. And come to Hit Record. Help us make the next episode. There's a ton of projects going on right now waiting for you to jump in. I'll see you next time. Thanks again. Again, my heart.